Hey guys, I'm Rob, and today I'm gonna to talk about gear acquisition syndrome. Now listen, this is something that 10 out of 10 photographers suffer from, nothing to be ashamed of, we all know what happens, and we all know what it is. If for some reason you're completely new to this and you don't know what gear acquisition syndrome is and you don't know why you need a cure for it, you're gonna find out really soon. Basically, it's just acquiring gear. That's exactly what it sounds like. It's buying up all of this stuff because you just, you can't stop. You just see this great Leica rangefinder or you see this great Hasselblad or maybe you wanna get this amazing video kit or lighting gear and you just keep acquiring all this stuff and you keep buying it up. And then basically you're either maxing out your credit cards or you're selling your first burn child so that you can afford all this stuff. But I'm happy to say there is a cure for gas and it's very, very simple. And it's basically just to rent. If you haven't thought about it before, definitely look into renting your gear. Simple as that. Go to borrow lenses, go to lens rentals. You can even go to your local camera shop. They sell Nikon stuff, they sell Canon stuff. They also rent that stuff out most of the time. Some of them do Fuji rentals. If they're gear centric uh, for video, they might actually do video rental stuff too. So if you haven't thought about renting, that is gonna cure your gas because you finally get that gear in your hand. Maybe you've only spent $100 for a, a Leica camera, well, actually, if you're gonna rent a Leica camera, you gotta spend about 350 or 400, but still, it's a drop in the bucket compared to 4,000, right? So let's say you do spend 400 bucks. You've rented this camera, you've tested it out, and maybe that's it. You scratched that itch. You don't have to go out and buy that stuff and have a buyer's remorse situation later because nine out of 10 times, that can happen. But this is something that happened with me, actually. I had a Leica M9 article on my blog where I was like really into Leica film cameras and I just wanted to try the digital experience. So I got this M9 because it was the cheapest way in. And then I tried it out and I just, I kind of, it was, I mean, it's fine, but it wasn't like this experience that I really expected it to be. Um, and when I sent it back, I was like, okay, well I tried that. And it just didn't like, it didn't like jump out at me like I thought it would. And I'm so glad I didn't spend $2,500 or $3,000 to get this camera and then have that buyer's remorse situation. So that's, that's where you get that gas, and that's one instance for me where renting the camera actually saved me from buying you know, this expensive camera and having this, this remorse later. And the thing is, is that places like borrow lenses and lens rentals sometimes have these coupon dealers, deals or free days. So keep an eye out for that, get on these newsletters, and you might even save like 10%, 20% on a rental. Uh, so you get that gear even cheaper. And the best part is it's not just photo gear either. It's also video gear. Um, and it's also lighting kits now and drones and um, red cameras and stuff like that. You can rent almost anything nowadays. So if you're suffering from gear acquisition syndrome and you really, really want to get this camera uh, and assuming that it is available for rent, I mean, if it's a film camera, that's gonna be a little more difficult to source, but maybe a friend of yours has it and you can borrow it from them just to get that experience with it and find out if it's really that dream camera you want. But if it's a digital camera or something modern, yeah, just rent it, give it a shot, do that, get that, you know, scratch that itch, and that might be it. You might, you know, have a cure for gas right there. Hey, so listen, if you liked the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, please subscribe if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you in the next one.